Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals.
It's about 9.30 p.m. I just got home and Hydrox was in his house. But when he saw me, he came out of his house and he's been meowing at me ever since. I put a full can of Trader Joe's uh, Ocean Whitefish uh, pate in this food bowl. And then I put a can of the turkey and giblets mixed up with some water in the heated kitty cafe. So Hydrox has two cans of food to eat. And this is where Hydrox is right now. He's hanging out under the house. He should go eat. This is what he normally does. He'll like, uh, he'll meow for food and then I'll go inside and then I'll go check out the food and he'll go eat it. So uh, he could also just be yelling at me because I haven't been home for a few days. Sometimes he likes to do that. And uh, yeah, thankfully it's not terribly cold out right now. I feel like maybe it's around 45 degrees. Let's go inside and let's look at the thermometer. The top two numbers are the outside temperature sensors. So yeah, it's just about 45 degrees out. Okay, let's see what happened to the automatic feeder. So this is Boo's automatic feeder. Did he eat everything? And look at this. He did not finish his crunchies or his freeze dried raw food. That is crazy. I've never seen Boo not finish crunchies, but it might be because of the other crunchy feeder. Or it might be then he went downstairs and ate some food down there. Let's go downstairs and look at the other feeders. All the raw food is gone, so that is great. Okay, let's take a look at the downstairs feeders. This one is empty except for some crunchies. Excellent. Let's take a look at this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is like not even touched. The crunchies are still here, the freeze-dried bites are here, and even this Webox treat, it's all still there, nobody touched it. And let's take a look at this one. And this one is empty except for some crunchies. The cats did a really great job and it's so weird about that middle feeder. And I know they're working correctly because all the other uh, meals in this feeder dispense properly. So this is definitely a meal that was dispensed. It's just strange that nobody ate it. So here's Boo. Boo greeted me at the back door when I came home. Boo's very happy that I'm home. This is the pizza tray that's by the automatic feeder and I just moved it back toward the automatic feeder. So when I got home, it was like way over here and I saw that on the security cameras. Like I checked in a few times on the security cameras and I noticed that they really moved it. So um, it's not exactly the lightest tray, so it definitely took a good bit of force to move this. Um, I'm assuming some crunchies came out and the cats wanted to get underneath the tray or something and they, they did a good job of moving it. And here's Stella. Stella greeted me in the kitchen when I got home. Here's Simba and he's kind of afraid of me right now. He's been hiding from me. When I got home, he was under my bed. So I don't know what happened between him and Boo or him and whoever, but uh, yeah, he's a bit out of sorts right now. He's kind of scared. I don't know why. I just gave the cats some canned food. They're having a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets split four ways with just a little bit of crunchies on top and some water mixed in. I wanted to give them something that I know they like because they're probably hungry. Uh, the automatic feeders fed them breakfast today and then they had some crunchies out of the crunchy feeder and then there's nothing in the other automatic feeder tonight because it only holds four meals really um, so this is their dinner now they might have been upset about the fact that the feeders went off and there was no food in them but it's how it is all of the litter boxes have just been scooped out and so I was away for a total of about 56 hours, maybe 57 hours, a little bit more than 48 hours. And the litter boxes were really full. And I did top them off with a lot of litter before I left. So there's four cats here and there are four litter boxes, two downstairs, two upstairs. And they were all pretty full. And uh, I know that might sound disgusting, but it just gives you an idea, you know, if you're going to be leaving your cat or cats home alone for a day or two, um, you know, make sure there's plenty of 
litter and uh, litter boxes. And one other thing that I did do when I got home was I went on a puke patrol. Uh, I basically walked all around the house looking to see if there's any any vomit or anything, uh, you know, not wanted, any hairballs or anything. And there was nothing, so that's a good sign. I also did not smell anything strange, so that's a good sign. And um, yeah, overall it went well. I hope the cats got some good rest. And uh, we're going to continue with the cat's Christmas um, tomorrow or the next day they still have a present they need to open and um, I didn't give them the toys from Zoe yet and uh, yeah so they're gonna have a, a little bit of celebrations ahead of them thank you for watching this lucky Earl's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you